As of May 21st, 2023, there are currently 41 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is a large Masaya volcano within Nicaragua, which is one of only eight volcanoes worldwide to contain an active lava lake. Masaya is quite an interesting volcano as, although it has almost exclusively produced small to moderate volume explosive eruptions, the entire volcano is located within a massive 10.7 by 4.5 km wide caldera with obvious caldera walls. This caldera formed in three massive eruptions which occurred between 6100 and 1800 years ago. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Washington state, a large landslide occurred at the Mount St. Helens volcano, blocking access to the main viewing area of the volcano right before the 43rd anniversary of its climactic 1980 eruption. Meanwhile, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, fears rose in the town of Goma because a strong orange glow in addition to lava fountains which became visible at the Niamoragira volcano. And, in what is this week's top story, the volcano visible from Mexico City produced a spectacular paroxysm, hurling bombs of lava into the air and creating numerous audible explosions. Before 1994, Popocatepetl had been inactive for 47 years as it reactivated that year. Ever since then, it has been near continuously erupting, where small plugs above the magma conduit have intermittently been built via the extrusion of a lava dome within the summit crater. This causes pressure to build up, which is then eventually released, creating a volcanian explosion which rejects bombs of lava and boulders of rock, occasionally generates pyroclastic flows, and creates a puffy ash cloud. Such explosions typically occur 1 to 28 times a week. Yet, beginning on May 17th of 2023, a notable increase in volcanic activity began occurring at Popocatepetl. Then, as it erupted, the volcano produced a series of strombolian explosions involving a sustained several hundred meter high lava fountain that threw bombs of lava up to 850 meters beyond the crater rim, with these rolling down its steep slopes for all to see in a wide area. This caused minor ashfall in adjacent areas, but due to the unhealthy levels of particulate matter the volcano ejected, classes were subsequently cancelled on May 18th for 100,000 students. Then, in the very early morning hours of May 20th, a sustained 474 meter or 1,555 foot high lava fountain was generated which lit the surrounding clouds a bright orange color. This lava fountain continued for more than 30 minutes before lowering in intensity. Due to all of these ash emissions, the Mexico City International Airport temporarily closed at 4.25 a.m. due to volcanic ash. It subsequently reopened around 8 hours later. Meanwhile, 5.7 miles north of the summit of Mount St. Helens, a fairly sizable landslide occurred. As this slide advanced at a rate of 50 miles per hour, which I estimated to have a volume of 195,000 cubic meters, or 6.89 million cubic feet of rock and debris, it overran and severely damaged a bridge 2,000 feet to the west. By the time the landslide ended, a 350-foot-wide stretch of paved road had been buried by a thick layer of rock, cutting off access to the Johnson Observatory. This landslide carved away what I estimate to be a 392 foot wide, 578 foot long, and an up to a 20 meter or 66 foot deep scar on the mountainside. Luckily, the landslide was not caused by volcanic activity at Mount St. Helens, but rather due to a heat wave causing rapid snow melt to occur, soaking the ground which had experienced some hydrothermal alteration and overloading it with weight. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, some people in the city of Goma became worried as an orange glow became visible to the northwest, with a definite spike in eruptive intensity occurring on May 19th of 2023. However, this was not due to the lava lake at the Niragongo volcano, but rather due to a summit eruption at the Niamoragira shield volcano. This eruption is primarily effusive and is confined to its summit caldera. While this could migrate to a flank vent, there is no indication of this occurring anytime soon. With this being said, Goma is not at risk from Niamoragira's lava flows due to the topography of the town, as only Niragongo's lava flows can reach it. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on May 20th of 2023. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.